Hey guys, it's Andrea from the blog Pine and Prospect Home, and today I want to share some tips and tricks for beginner antiquers. used to prefer thrift stores over antique stores and I just thought antique stores were overpriced. I didn't think you could get good deals there but um, my mom actually loves to antique. In fact her whole home is filled with antiques and so she's the one that sort of convinced me to give antiquing a try and I'm glad she did because I have found some treasures over the years visiting antique stores. So why should you bring antiques into your home or vintage items. Well, first of all, you can find pieces at antique stores that no one else has. And, um, you know, there's nothing wrong with buying things brand new. I have a lot of items in my home that I have purchased brand new. But, when you find something at an antique store, that's going to be something that you have in your home that no one else has. And to me, that's just so special and so neat. Another reason I would encourage you to shop at antique stores is because antiques just bring kind of a depth of character to your space. Um, if everyone goes out and buys all the same, you know, decor, like I said before, then um, there's just not a lot of meaning and um, not a lot of intentional uh, thought there. And so um, I just think it's neat when you bring something in from an antique store that has a story. And uh, you know, my sister, Jessica, she just refinished her entire home and um, new floors, new paint, new trim, uh, new almost everything. They're still working on their kitchen and bathroom. And we went to look for home decor this past summer and we found such great stuff, all brand new items. Um, but when I was looking at everything in the car, I said, you know, Jess, I think you need some old stuff. <laughs> um, and she was like, eh, I don't know, you know, her style is more modern. And I said, let's just go antiquing and see if we can find anything to add to your space that might just bring in that um, warmth and that, you know, just a rustic touch that we're looking for. Because her style is sort of like modern lodge. So uh, we went and she found an amazing pair of antique oars from a boat and they were worn and had such a beautiful green color on them. Uh, she also found uh, some awesome like wooden crates that she ended up hanging on her wall. Antiques can just sort of bring like depth of character to your space. Everything isn't so brand new. Another reason why you should bring antiques into your home is because they tell a story. When I buy an antique, I often wonder, man, who held this? Where did it come from? How many people owned this? What was it used for? Uh, there's something so much more special about getting something that has just been around for years and years. And so I would encourage you to go antiquing. You never know what you're gonna find. But here are my tips and tricks. If you are a brand new antiquer, you've never gone before. I've got eight tips for you today, so bear with me. Number one, always offer less. Okay, so whenever I find a treasure at antique stores, I always try to offer less when I go to purchase the item. And let me just say that if you, you have to be kind of specific. You need to have a number in mind because if you go up to the store clerk and say, hey, is this the best that you can do? Is there anything, you know, um, can you go any lower? In most cases, they're going to tell you, sure, I can take off 10%. So just keep that in mind. 10% is better than nothing, but if you go up with a number, uh, for example, if something is 25 bucks and you know you offer 18, you're more likely um, to have the clerk maybe call the booth owner, um, and then that booth owner will probably either counter or accept your offer. That's always been my experience. And so always try to offer less. Number two, find the affordable booths. 
So most of the antique stores are divided up into different booths. And all of those different booths have different owners. And some booths are priced really high, some booths are very reasonable, some are priced very low. Sometimes low, like thrift store prices low. And so I, I usually frequent like three or four antique stores around here pretty regularly. And I know by now which booths to kind of just avoid because I know that they're just way out of my price range. So I might do like a quick glance over in those booths, but for the most part, I'm not gonna waste my time in them. I'd rather go spend time in the booths that I know are priced uh, lower. Number three on my list for tips if you are a brand new antique shopper is have specific items in mind. When you walk into an antique store, it can feel very overwhelming. Even for me sometimes, I'm overwhelmed. I just went in an antique store recently and I was like, where do I start? I hadn't been to that one in a while. So have items in mind. What are some things you're looking for in your home? Are you collecting copper? Are you looking for um, specific wooden pieces? Whatever it is, have some things in mind and have that mental list so that you can kind of look out for those items. My fourth tip for you today is to research items that you are drawn to. So this is important. I remember when I found a set of dishes that I absolutely loved and I just found a few pieces um, in an antique store. But I brought them home with me and I went on Google and I just researched them. I found out how old they were, what other pieces were included in the set, what else I could look for to collect, to add to the pieces I already have. So it's just kind of neat to go home and kind of research the items that really speak to you and that way you can keep an eye out for them, you know what they're worth, you know how much you're willing to pay. So research the items you are drawn to. Number five on my list, don't be afraid to get dirty and dig around a little bit. Um, there are a lot of times where maybe I just picked something up or just kind of got down low, looked on maybe the bottom shelf of some huge shelving unit and found a treasure. I love antique stores that are clean, organized. I'm drawn to booths um, that are just put together well, they're cohesive, but a lot of times uh, not every booth is like that. So you might have to look around a little bit, you might have to, to, to do some digging, bring some hand sanitizer, <laughs> um, and uh, just don't be afraid to get in there and to look around. Number six on my list is look beyond an item's purpose. If you feel like, man, I really love this, this is so beautiful, but I don't know what to do with it or I don't know how to use it, look beyond its purpose. Maybe you can use it in some other way in your home um, and not in the way that it was originally intended for. Um, I like to hang all kinds of things on my walls. Going back to my sister's oars, for example, that she found. She ended up hanging those up, one on either side of her dining room windows, and they are gorgeous wall art now. So think a little bit outside the box. Can this be used uh, as a container for greenery or flowers? Could I hang this on the wall? Could I use this for storage? Think outside the box in terms of you know how you could repurpose these items that are so unique and special at antique stores. Isn't that cool? Yeah. With the wheels. It would be um, just really neat sitting outside with some like um, flowers planted in it. Or, and there's already a hole for drainage. My next tip, number seven, is try, if at all possible, to go antiquing with an experienced antique shopper. Um, sometimes it's just nice on your very first trip to go with someone who knows a little bit about antiques, they're familiar with the antique store, or with antiquing at least, and they can kind of help you out. They might know a little bit about, um, you know, whatever it is that you're looking for. They might be willing to do the haggling for you when you go up to the front and you want to offer less but you're nervous. Um, I'm so thankful that I had my mom come along with me the very 
first time or first few times I went antiquing, she did a lot of wheeling and dealing for me and she really helped me when I picked things up and I was like, mom, what is this? Do you know what this is or what it was used for? She knew because she's just, she's a very experienced antique shopper. So if possible, uh, try to take someone with you who knows a little bit about um, antiquing and who's been there. Number eight, ask a lot of questions. Uh, recently this past summer I went antique shopping and I found this really cool uh, rustic crate that had like chippy blue paint on it and a really pretty turned handle. And when I went to check out I asked, you know, if, if they knew anything about it or where it came from. And it turns out it was used at an old greenhouse that's actually um, near our home. So I just thought that was really cool that um, now I know a little bit about the history behind that that piece that I have in my home now. So don't be afraid to ask questions. Maybe they won't know anything, but maybe they will. And so it never hurts to just say, hey, do you know anything about this? Or do you know the history behind this item? So I lied. I said I had eight tips, but I have one more for you. Number nine would be to have patience. All right, it's a gorgeous day in Michigan today, but it's very, very windy. We're right on the water. I'm gonna try one more antique shop see if I can find any treasures. We didn't end up getting anything at the other one, so let's see what this one has to offer. You're not gonna find a treasure every time you go antique shopping. In fact, I just told you I went antiquing with my husband. I didn't end up finding anything with him that day, but we still had a lot of fun. We looked at a lot of cool stuff, and um, I really enjoyed myself. Don't be discouraged if you don't find you know, the perfect piece the very first time you go antiquing. Sometimes I score big, sometimes I don't come home with anything. So just try to have patience, keep going. It's just like thrifting. You never know what you're going to find. I hope that this video convinced you to give antiquing a try if you've never gone before. If you're brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching.